Like all we know is us, nigga. Now go and watch me break safe. No product of my pigment, but I'm still gonna wreck the game. Yo, what's going on, guys? This is KC Beast here, and today EA did it again, guys. Mike Vick. Now, as you can see on my screen, the ghost back. This is pretty much, I mean, as we all know, guys, this is the best quarterback by far in Madden. Now, before anything, guys, if you guys do love the content so far, please go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and tell me you guys some feedback, guys. Give me a little pointers, whatever you guys think I should be doing. If you guys have any, you know, suggestions, let me know. Um, yeah, let me know down below, okay? Now, we all know Mike Vick is the glitch since, I don't know, Madden 06, I want to say, 07. This man has been terrorizing the community. Roll out to the left, roll out to the right, sprint down the field 90 yards, juke everybody in the stands, juke the mascot. Mike Vick is literally the GOAT when it comes to quarterback play. Now, do I think this quarterback is going to be groundbreaking? Yeah, I do. Um, this is based off my assumption that Mike Vick, just like anybody else, is pretty much... He, he is the fastest guy that you're going to see overall in Madden at the quarterback position, period. There's never going to be anybody faster. Uh, pardon the background noise, guys. Somebody's working in the house or on my house right now. So they're pretty much just, you know, fixing a couple things. So you're going to hear a little bit of noise along with that glare, too. I have the garage open. So I'm not going to um, have the garage open often. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, back to the video. 88 speed guys, 92 throw power. Um, yeah, that speed is crazy. Throw power is 92 overall, which should get you down the field. The throw, mm, let's see, so 86 deep, 83 mid, 85 short. The only one you should be concerned with, if you ask me, Probably gonna be that mid throw, 83, and maybe that throw deep at an 86. But let's say John Madden passing plus go deep should get you a little bit closer or over the threshold. I'm not necessarily sure how secure. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you, yeah, the thresholds are this number or this number, unless EA put it in a file somewhere and I'm not looking. I don't necessarily know what the thresholds are. I do know that they're there though. Um, so I want to say 85 to 90, 90, 90 to 95 is probably where you're going to find your intervals or your interval and your, um, your thresholds. So he's going to be good on short. That's nothing. Um, his mid is a little low, but it's Mike Vick, man. You're going to, you're going to find ways to break the game with this dude. So should you get him? That's the next question. Should you invest 2 million coins or whatever it's going to be into getting this one card? Um, no. Shouldn't. You can. If you're going to buy packs, I mean, if you're going to buy packs, this is probably the best time to buy packs. This is the only card I think that's worth it to buy packs. So if you're going to buy packs, if you're going to go to spend a bundle or, uh, you know, flip something, I suggest you do it on this promo. Maybe not this promo, but this card. Promo, I'd say probably uh, the winner, the frozen, whatever it's called, promo, that's a good promo. So you can wait till then, but if you wanna spend coin, or if you wanna spend money, real money on coins and on cards, I'd probably do it now. Um, I'm not gonna do so. I still am rocking with Patrick Mahomes, who, I mean, I don't think you need to have the fastest quarterback, you know? Uh, plus Kyler Murray, who is a rookie premier card. I have that guy too. Um, he's going to start playing. And if he starts balling, they're going to start giving him crazy upgrades too. So I'm assuming he'll probably be like the cheap, you know, cheap man's version of Mike Vick, along with Lamar Jackson. But, 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 because of the whole 10 years of mutt thing, you are going to have to get his power up. Um, and with his power up, you should be able to meet a couple thresholds. I don't know if you're gonna get escape artists 
or any of those other cool um, you know, superstar traits based off just, I just don't know. It's not out yet. 4 p.m. Eastern, they said. So by one o'clock on the West Coast, by one o'clock, I'll be able to know, you know, um, if that upgrade is going to go ahead and give you any of those special abilities, which I don't see why they wouldn't. But you can't, you know, count your chickens until they hatch. Now, is the power up going to be worth it just to power them up, sell your quarterback? Probably not. Probably not. So, it's up to you. I suggest you wait a little bit. Don't sell too fast. I saw Patrick Mahomes earlier for 230 when he was going for 300 two days ago. I saw Steve Young for about 300 when he was going for 400 and something a couple days ago as well. So, I mean, the best trait, if you ask me, that this card has is going to be the throw on the run, obviously. And that still doesn't mean that you're going to get anything done, especially. So what you're going to have to do is pretty much you're going to have to time yourself out and just, I would say, just wait. Maybe try the power up. You could always use, I mean, if you're going to sacrifice some training, I don't suggest doing so. But if you're going to do so, probably the good time to try it out and just see if this card works overall, guys. Now, one more time, guys. It's KC Beast here. Go ahead and drop a like. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, I can't wait to get this Mike Vick or at least get some gameplay for you guys. All right. You have a good day. I'll see y'all later.